So I always think of viruses, I may be completely wrong about this, but for me, they're kind of the dark matter of biology. They're, they make up most of the biome in the world, I think, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And right. yet we, um, we don't really know where to put them, do we? I mean, we don't know. I mean, what is a virus? Is it living? Is it not living? Ah. We, have we ever settled this yes. question? I have settled it. Okay. <laughs> But All not, right. But not so there's one thing have. he knows. You can tell us the one thing you know. All right. So what I have in my hand here, this is a virus particle. And this is what most people think of when they say virus. And it, it's at minimum a protein shell with some nucleic acid inside. And this one, by the way, has the viral <laughs> genome in it. And a, um, That's the DNA. Is or the RNA. The, this is RNA. This happens RNA, to be right. poliovirus, so it has an RNA genome. And by the way, this genome is beaded in the correct sequence. There are four uh, different um. color beads. <laughs> there are four different color beads. And it is 7,440 beads long, or nucleotides. So which like poor graduate student did you make do this? <laughs> Why do you think it's a graduate student? <laughs> this is actually a professor of virology at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, uh, Ann Palmenberg. She had one, I admired it, and she said, I'll make you one. So uh, this is AGCU in the right sequence. Fabulous. If, you, if you're here afterwards, I'll show this to you. Um, what was the question? What is a virus? <laughs> I don't remember. What is a virus? So a virus is at minimum a protein shell with nucleic acid. It can be RNA or DNA inside of it. Sometimes there's also a lipid envelope around the virus particle, and that's it. This cannot be living. Would you agree? There's no way. This could sit here if this were a real virus for years and never do anything. It would never reproduce. It would never make energy, not do anything. However, when this gets into a cell, which it has to do in order to reproduce, it will take over the cell. It commandeers it, and the infected cell is living. So a virus, this is my view, a virus is an organism with two phases, the virus particle that goes from cell to cell and the infected cell. The virus particle is not living, but the infected cell is. What do you think of that? I don't think it answers the question. Is the virus living? <laughs> yes, I mean, we still don't really know if, I, I, I mean. Let me put it this way, Stuart. You used to be a virus. Thank you. <laughs> we, yes, I think right, many right. people feel that the first uh, life forms on right. Earth, the first molecules that replicated in the soup of Earth as soon as it cooled down were actually nucleic acids just like this one that were able to self-replicate. And those were the earliest viruses. And they eventually evolved into cells. And then the viruses said, what are we doing out here? Let's get inside the cells. Mm -hmm. And they did. And that's where we are today. So I think our ancestors are probably viral. Yeah. So this is the earliest sort of so when people look for life on other planets, should we be looking for viruses? If there is life, there will be viruses, for 